So uh, once, a once a person is exposed to a chemical, it enters their bloodstream and it gets metabolized and excreted either through um, the urine or through their stool. Um, it could also get uh, stored in body tissue or body organs, um, including bone or fat tissue. Um, and so uh, the way that the chemical is processed through the body depends on the specific chemical of concern, the level of exposure, and the roots of exposure. So both short and long-term health effects are possible. Um, and we have to think about short-term health effects. The most common ones can be irritant. And that includes eye, ear, nose, throat irritation, headaches. What we see most commonly as environmental pediatricians when a family calls us with concerns about an exposure in the home or the school is the stress that that family feels um, from not knowing what it means uh, for their family in terms of long-term health. Evidence is building on the contribution of environmental exposures to a wide range of chronic conditions, and those include things like asthma, obesity, diabetes, heart disease, uh, neurodevelopmental conditions, and even cancer. Um, so to understand the human health impacts of a range of exposures, um, oftentimes a team of experts is put together that'll perform a, a risk assessment. And the simplest way to explain a risk assessment is that um, this team, which it can include uh, risk assessors and toxicologists and scientists and physicians and, and others, um, will come together and take the best available evidence. Um, and they'll use the existing animal studies uh, and human studies and essentially come up with a mathematical modeling that will help understand a specific, what a specific chemical means at, that, at those levels um, for a specific population. Um, and uh, they'll essentially come up with a determination of what that the risks are um, to, to this special population um, given sort of the roots of exposure, the specific chemical of concern, um, and a number of uncertainty factors um, based on the limited uh, evidence that may be available.